I just haven't seen much as far as bait goes whether I'm seeing it in the water or I'm seeing it on my fish finder it's not marking a whole lot of things nothing really there was a charter boat that was out near me and I was kind of watching them and what they were doing and they weren't catching any fish either he did a few drifts in the area and then uh, and then he went on so it's not looking that good for the home team today I knew I should not have come to West Bay but I wanted to take my chances I got skunked West Bay last two times I was out I went out on a friend of mine's boat and we even got in the water and weight fished a little bit and we just just didn't happen for us I did happen to come across a flounder oh that was a big one oh my god that dude was huge hold on but yeah that was pretty much it and I came out and kayaked fish same, same kind of area I'm fishing today with Eric and we both got skunked so the only good thing about getting skunked is if you take everybody with you <laughs> don't get skunked alone take everybody with you First fish on of the day, oh my goodness. He just smashed it. Just put a gulp on because, you know, I'm just desperate. So, it was like a red. Yep, that's a nice one. Uh. Uh. Oh yes. First fish of the day. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. You can definitely see this guy. Right in the corner of the mouth. I want to get this. Nice little golden boy measured up. Let's get him on his way. It's a nice red. You can see his top fins where he's been like he'd been rubbing him off on this oyster over here. And he thought he just had a pink pink mullet. Did you think he got a pink mullet for? Oh yeah. 22 and a half. One more look at this beauty. This crushers. Got him on that H2 Express. Little screw hook jig head. There it goes. We're going to release this guy. Let him go about his business. <laughs> oh my gosh. That just saved the day just right here saw the oysters and I said you know what let me let me cast over there and see if I can catch a flounder slipping or get lucky and see if I can get a red but I never really have that much luck with the reds on gulp I see other people catch them but I just never have and that was literally the first cast I wasn't even recording on that cast <laughs> oh yeah all right so this is what I was fishing for here 
I, uh, you know, because flounder's like structure. So you have a bulkhead, you have a pier, you have anything really, and you just cast even a even a PVC pipe. Sometimes they'll hang around it. But yeah, so this is what I was working for when I caught that red. So it's nice that I so I put the pink on. So he's a small guy. He might I might get lucky. He might be 14 inches, but we'll see. Let's just take that out of your mouth. Yeah, he is 14 and a half. I just barely made it. A few little parasites on them. I'll let them go. Oh my god, sometimes it pays to be lucky than good. Anyway, I'm trolling the line back to me. I'm trolling the line behind me. Sort of going back in the direction of the launch. And yeah, I got lucky. Got a flounder on. Take a look at him. He's gonna be a good one. Yeah, sixteen and a quarter inch flounder. There's a few parasites on him. We'll flick those guys off. Get, get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Here he goes. Nice guy, nice looking guy. There we go, DSL. I love this big eye one. I'm gonna pick some more up at this fishing show coming up here in, in Houston. There we go, nice guy. Thank you for making it fun. I appreciate you. Going through little streets like this into like the neighborhood. When I say the street with a little waterway to the neighborhood. The moment it gets a little deeper, so it dropped down about a, maybe a foot to a foot and a half. There he goes. Oh, well, he's not as big as I thought he was, but yeah, he he got it pretty good right there. Man, that H2 Express. Hook isn't disappointing, it gets right in there. Yeah, he's gonna be 16, 16 inches. That'd be close to 17, but you know, 16 inch flounder. We'll let him go. Oh man, he hit it though, he hit it. And pull it off. Let's see if we can get him to get it again. Oh, 
my god, he came off. That hurt my feelings. Dang, that was a nice pick. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. You know, it was a good day. Sorry about the audio, I'm on my phone and the audio for this old phone is junk. But, getting a new one soon, so, but that's never, that doesn't matter. But anyway, yeah, today was a good day. I mean, it started out super slow, first couple hours, didn't, couldn't even get a bite, not even close. And I just started fishing some of the bulkheads. I started fishing around the neighborhoods, just hoping to find a little bit warmer water. And and I did, you know, and I got lucky with that first red that I caught. Then I got lucky trolling my line and hooking up my hooking up with a flounder. And you know, today was just a day of luck, I think. I missed that Texas slam. I didn't get that speck. My hat's a little crooked. I'm not trying to be all gangster. I missed that speck for a Texas slam. I had him on. He looked to be maybe about 18 inches, but he could have been a little bigger than that. I always go under, you know, I'm not one of those guys that be like, oh, I had a 20 inch flounder on and it was 12 inches when it got out of the water. That's not me. But anywho, you know, I am leaving Galveston, Galveston West Bay. It has been tough on me lately. I skunked last two times out. I was on a boat, weighed fish, and then I kayaked and two skunks in a row, but everybody else skunked pretty much. Um, so, you know, misery loves company. And when you get skunked, you love other stinky fellas with you too. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some links in my description. Lean you over to Fonkso Brother channel. We are, I'll be posting some overspill stuff from this channel and some other stuff that I get invited to over there as well. Also check out Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol. I do the recording, the videos, the editing. I do a lot of the admin stuff for them too. So you can check out Saltwater Soul Shore Patrol see what we're doing in the Galveston area cleaning up our shorelines keeping it nice and fresh for all you anglers out there and all our wildlife but thanks hopefully next time you catch me Hooking up.